So first of all, I apologize that my voice sounds a little scratchy. I got a head cold, so um, yeah, it's going to sound a little different. I love this topic, and I am um, been I have been learning a lot about it recently. So one of the things that I have been learning is that you have to make your space serve you. However big or small your space is, you have to figure out what you need from that space and how to get that. And what that looks like is going to be different for each person and it's going to be different for each family, um, what your lifestyle is and what your interests are, what you consider to be a need that you need in your space, um, like as far as stuff goes. The basis that I use for organizing and maintaining um, the small space that we're in is I keep a close eye on what I use um, daily or on a regular basis. Like if I don't reach for something very often, I consider it to be an extra and I either put it into storage or I just get rid of it. I have a designated bag that I recently got that I am using to put things that I see that I'm not reaching for, that I'm not using, and I just put it in that bag so that I could either give it away or donate it to a thrift store or something like that. I find that if you let things just sit there because you might use them in a year, it really just adds up to a lot of clutter and obviously that's up to you. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. That's for me personally and that's what works for me. So um, yeah, I find that it's not serving me if something is taking up space. So I tend to get rid of things and maybe I get rid of things too quickly. I don't know. That's something that I'm trying to learn. So that's something that I do. Um, I just basically declutter all the time. That's something I'm learning and to just watch for stuff that's just like cluttering up a space and figure out, okay, what does, what does this do for me? If it doesn't do anything for me, it's going to go. And so that's something I'm working on. And what I do need and use I find a home for it and I can show you guys some footage later on in the video of practical ways that I do that. Stuff like clothes, toys, laundry, shoes, um, all that kind of stuff obviously you need and need a home for it and so yeah I'll show you guys footage later on of that stuff. And we are still in the process of learning all of this, so I will be sharing updated videos as time goes on and we learn more and figure out more. So things that we have and don't want to get rid of, we keep it in storage and we actually left some things behind in Arizona when we moved at somebody's house. Um, but if we didn't have that option, we could probably rent a storage unit somewhere. I don't know how much that costs, but it would probably be pretty affordable. But um, that would be an option. Um, I've seen other people use um, cube organizers outside, just sitting next to their campers. And I know you couldn't do, you couldn't keep anything valuable or something that you don't want to get wet in the rain um obviously you would have to figure out what you would keep outside but I've seen people do that what I do is I also keep a bunch of things in my car because currently my car is not working and so it's just empty space anyways and so I put a bunch of stuff in there um, when my car does get fixed I could probably move that stuff into the truck because then we would be using my car instead of the truck. So it's just something we'll have to figure out as we go along. Um, also, I can show you the loft, but I keep stuff in the loft that we don't necessarily use every day, or I keep stuff in the loft that is more important that like we don't want Liam to get. So we can just put it up there and he doesn't, obviously he can't reach up there. So it's like a safety thing for Liam. And another tip that I would give you is to keep surfaces as clear as possible. And 
that means that whatever you might tend to keep on a surface, you need to have another home for it. So um, we have been lucky enough in this camper to have a junk drawer, which is very necessary for all of those little things. And if you don't have a junk drawer, you can just have like a basket or box or a bowl of some kind where you keep all of the junk drawer items. Um, yeah, but I would say just try to keep minimal surface clutter because that's something that really tends to, I notice for me, it tends to make me feel overstimulated if there's just stuff everywhere and I look around and I just see everything everywhere. It makes me feel like I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> so anyways, that's something that I do. I just have this curtain up because Liam is taking a nap. So, um, I'm going to show you. There's Liam sleeping. And we just have our toys right there. And this is the laundry storage. And I do have a second laundry bag, which is really helpful. So I know that this is not like the prettiest arrangement, but um, we put Mike's stuff up here that we don't want Liam to get into. And also just some important things that we want to store. So we just keep that up there. And then this over here is like blankets and pillows that we use at night, but we just put it up here during the day. And yeah, as time goes on, that's something I am going to work on is making it look nicer. But for now, that's what it is. And I just have our clothes under the couch. And I have some of my work stuff under there. So it's just within easy reach when I need to work on stuff. And I don't know if I've shown um, the top of the cupboards in another video, but we had had a bunch of stuff just like sitting on top of the cupboards which was not nice and I did not like that so this past weekend I went through all of the cupboards and I took out a lot of stuff these are actually supposed to be in here I took out a lot of stuff reorganized it and put most of this stuff on top somewhere else like just reorganized everything and it turns out that the cupboards have a decent amount of space for what we need of my cleaning stuff in there. So, um, yeah, the cupboards now are much nicer or much better organized. And we have minimal amount of stuff on top, which I would like it to be completely empty. But, you know, we just are working with what we have. So that's what that looks like now. And I just have Liam's arts and crafts stuff in there and some extra sheets and pillowcases and some books and candles and then it's just my makeup stuff and some hair stuff jewelry something that I do need to change sometime is shoe storage so our shoes are just kind of everywhere, and sometimes they're, like, all over the floor, which is super annoying. But, yeah, I don't know exactly where to put them because the trash can is right there, and then the coffee bar is right there. So, yeah, that's something that we'll have to figure out eventually. Something that has been very helpful with organizing food is this pantry. Mike built it for me, so it's been really handy. And it fits a lot of food, so I don't usually have to worry about food storage. And thankfully, we do have a decent-sized fridge and freezer, which stores a decent amount of food. I used to have my spices in this drawer, and then I bought these spice racks on Amazon. It was like 20 bucks, I think, and they screw into the wall. They did come with adhesive. Um, things but I don't want to use that so I put in screws and fit all of my spices and um, so that freed up that drawer so that we could use it for a junk drawer which is really handy like I said earlier 
And this is a bathroom organizer thing that I got at Target. It's been really nice for storing our extra bathroom stuff because as you can see, we don't have any counter space to speak of. So I just put it in there and it really does help a lot to keep it looking nice. And I feel like I clean quite a bit. One thing that is nice about a small space is that the cleaning does go pretty fast and you can do a fairly quick um, clean up in a relatively short amount of time. So that's nice. But anyways, I just feel like I clean quite a bit because everything tends to get dirty fast. And along with the cleaning thing, um, I noticed that smells are a lot harder to deal with in a small space and especially something like the trash can it's just like sitting right there in the middle of everything like we can't get away from it if you're in the house it's a little easier to go to another room or whatever but it's just something I've noticed and so I like scrub down the trash can frequently so that it helps to keep down the smell or I try to take out the trash frequently or um, I've even put baking soda in the bottom of it to try to keep down the smell. Um, sometimes it just stinks and just because it's just trash but I'm trying to learn how to get a better smell and um, if you guys have any tips please leave them below because I want to know how to keep a better smell around so anyways please let me know in the comments what you guys do to keep a better smell um and something i've learned about recently was this charcoal bag it's from walmart it was like four dollars so i'm gonna put this into our our dirty laundry hamper because sometimes the laundry stacks up and so the laundry just kind of piled up and it really stinks after a while. So I'm going to try to put that in the laundry and see if it helps. Um, and another thing that I am very excited about is that I learned about eucalyptus and that you can put it in the shower. And so I tried that and I think it smells better in there. So um, yeah, that's something that I'm trying. And... You can obviously burn candles and use cleaners. Um, yeah, I am learning how to get a better smell. So please let me know if you have any other suggestions for me. But those are the things I've been learning about. And something that you just have to do a lot of in the small space especially is dishes. I'm like always washing the dishes and that's why I have a mini dishwasher to help me this is not sponsored but i just love this dishwasher as you can see i did a load already and then i washed a ton of dishes this morning so yeah this thing helps so much i use it every single day so i can link it below if you want to check it out but um yeah if you don't do dishes like all the time they will stack up on you and take up all of your counter space so yeah, just make sure you do the dishes often. And it is most helpful for me if I wash the dishes before I go to bed. So that that way I don't wake up in the morning and be like, oh man, there's a bunch of dishes that I need to wash. Um, so anyways, that's something that I try to do is get the dishes done before I go to bed. And this may feel a bit unrelated, but my last point that I want to make is that Sometimes learning how to manage a small space is actually starting in your mind. So you have to learn how to have a good mindset about your situation and learn how to be grateful even in a small space. And when you have other people around you, sometimes they annoy you and you just have to learn how to work together and be a team and have um, good problem solving and communication skills, learning how to work through stuff so that you aren't like bickering about stuff. I know maybe that seems a little bit off topic, but sometimes maybe it can be more challenging to deal with stuff if you're in a small space with people. Um, 
and you can't really get away from them because you're in a small space. So anyways, I just wanted to mention that in case maybe you are dealing with that. Um, and I am thinking about making a video about how to decorate a camper nicely. I haven't really done anything much yet, but I have some ideas. And so I'm thinking about making a video about how to decorate because I think decorations can be clutter in a way and I want to learn how to do it in a way that's pretty and inviting and um, nice in a way that elevates the look but doesn't make it look full of stuff. So anyways, I'm thinking about making that video soon in a few weeks and we'll see when I get that done. But I think that is all that I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for being here. I will see you guys next time. Bye.